Hi, this is Sierra from Sprigio, and today we'll be interviewing Lizzie. Um, she has become known for her inspirational music and her promotion of bullying prevention. How are you? I am well. How are you, Sierra? I'm great. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks for having me. This yeah, is thanks, exciting. Thanks for letting us have you. So first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into music and kind of singing and stuff like that. Um, well, I am 16 years old, and I have been, I mean, for as long as I knew what music was and what entertaining was, I've been in love with it. I've been um, just kind of had a, a, a passion for it that's grown with age and with experience. When I was, let's see, when I was probably about four years old or so, um, I loved the movie Grease. And so yeah. I would put on, you know, my little poodle skirt <laughs> and I would turn on the movie and I'd put on Summer Nights and I'd sing along with Sandy and dance on the top of my coffee table at home. Oh. Um, I'd also put my stuffed animals in front of me and kind of line them up in an audience fashion and I would put on a show for them. Um, when I was six years old, I was in my first musical theater production. Wow. And yeah, it, it was really cool. And it was such a cool experience. Um, I couldn't even read yet. So my mom would read me my lines and I'd say them back to her and that's how I'd memorize. But I just remember being on stage for that very first time here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming at the Jackson Hole Playhouse, just loving it and loving being in front of people this time as an audience and um, I started to sing national anthems for major league sporting teams. Wow. My first big one was uh, for Fenway Park for the Boston Red Sox when I was nine Jeez. and then I've been doing them ever since and then I got into writing songs and uh, you know country music at 13 you know professionally and so I've just it's just been a really cool experience and and through the years I've I've discovered so much about myself and and about music and entertaining it's been fantastic that is really impressive you're quite the young professional it sounds like <laughs> 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 and um, specifically what inspired you to write your song butterfly or could you tell a little bit more about um, butterfly sure my song Butterfly is a song I wrote when I was 13 um, with country singer Jamie O'Neill and also her dad, uh, Jimmy Murphy, and another just fantastic lyricist, Lisa Drew. And so we were all sitting around in her house, and I told them how I was bullied in elementary school. Um, you know, the, there was a lot of teasing and ridicule. Um, just exclusion in my years from about kindergarten through fourth grade and I would come home crying almost every single day you know begging my parents to pull me out of school to talk to the teachers or the principal and you know what the the principal he did try to do something about it mm -hmm. but you know in in every school and this is what I've been discovering with this um, tour that I've been doing is that every school has bullies and, and and every school has these types of situations so and I was just the one who was caught in the middle of it so um, that was a hard time for me to get through but um, one day as I was leaving for school my dad told me that hey sweetheart just remember that nobody has the power to ruin your day and at first when I heard that I'm thinking to myself huh you know, the, 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 these people are hurting my feelings and yeah. they're making me feel terrible about myself. And so as time went on, I really did discover that I'm really the one who decides whether or not I get knocked down and what reaches me and, and, and I can internalize things how I want to. And so that whole concept, we just started talking about it mm -hmm. and then we got into, okay, butterfly. You know, butterfly is, um, it's something that grows over time and that just becomes beautiful over a period of time, but it's always beautiful. And so it has that kind of life cycle. And so that's where we got the song idea from. Like all along I was a butterfly and then we got into little pieces of the story and just made it really universal. And that's what I love about it. It can be about anything. Um, anything that you're going through, any hardship, any thing that you're unsure about. 
And I was going to ask you, you know, what do you want others to understand through listening um, to your music? Mm -hmm. um, but it sounds like with Butterfly, it's definitely something that can be altered to a situation. It's that um, all, uh, all encompassing type of positivity. It is, yeah. It's yeah. it's just, uh, uh, but I think Butterfly in particular is just a very universal song, um, and. I think with all of my songs, they're really universal too, because you know I have to get my songs from someplace. I'm not saying that all of my songs could you know come from personal experiences, yeah. but but all, all of my songs come from my soul and from a special place inside of me. And I think that when others hear my songs, they they feel my intentions, yeah. and they feel what I'm trying to get through to them. You know, it, I can have a song about. Liking the same guy as my best friend and you can relate to that. Or, you know, you don't have to relate to it in that way. So I think I think that that's really cool just about music in general is that you can take any song and you can feel that it's your own because some way you've experienced something that that song is talking about. So I think that's just real. And that's probably one of the things that really got me hooked on music too. So, And that's great because that's, um, you're kind of like giving a gift towards anyone who's listening to your music, if whatever they're going through, and they're they're able to use your music and listen to your music in a way that you know gets them through their hardships that you may not even know about. Yeah, that's really great. What is that like to be able to share, kind of share your story through music? <laughs> it's awesome, honestly. It's it's a really amazing thing to be able to do. I am so blessed and I'm so fortunate to be able to be really living my dream every day. Um, one of my basic goals in life is just, you know, even walking by this, um, walking by someone on the street, it's to bring happiness to them and just to spread light and love and, um, you know, to, to be doing such a thing with my music and, to know that I'm I'm reaching people and that I'm impacting people and that I'm making people's lives a little bit better or making their day a little bit brighter, it's really a beautiful thing and it's something that's overwhelming in a way, but a good overwhelming, you know. Yeah. And it's um, I just feel so lucky to be able to do this. And with this tour I'm doing, I um, last school year. Um, for the probably about eight months, I was on the road and I went to all over California, Florida, and Texas. Wow. And I toured um, schools, primarily um, elementary schools, but it was ranging from um, grades three through eight. And I talked to them about bullying, you know, because I went through that and that's very important to me. And I want to spread that message of just not only anti bullying, but positivity and encouragement and never stop believing in yourself and follow your dreams because you really can do anything you set your mind to is, is what I believe. And so I went around and I and I held these assemblies in these schools and you know just seeing the smiles on the kids' faces and getting to hug them afterwards and, and hearing what they say to me through Facebook and Twitter afterwards and their letters in the mail. I mean they're the cutest things some of them. And I mean, you, you know, Sierra, that's another thing. It's, it's you're your connecting through music and you're connecting through this universal message. And it was an amazing experience. I learned a whole lot from the tour. I, I toured 250 schools oh um, throughout the whole tour, and I must have seen 100,000 kids. So it was really... How long just, was the tour? It was um, about eight months. Okay. About the, the range of the school year through um, October through May. So wow. it's, yeah. That's very exciting. And I imagine that, you know, over time, even just if people haven't even heard of you, by the end of the assembly, I imagine they you kind of become some form of a figure that they can look up to. And I'm sure <laughs> after the assembly, they're just so excited to be able to kind of entrust in you. 
and write you those letters and everything. That's great. And 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 that was something that was really unique about these assemblies is that, you know, some some schools I would go into and they would have really no idea who I am. They didn't know that I was coming. Um, and I just came in and okay, you know, this is what we're gonna do and and I I talked to them and I shared my personal experiences. I, I sing for them. We have um, interactive questions and answers and, and discussions oh. and and what I did is I, I approached the assembly and I approached this with open arms. I didn't go in there, I didn't say, Don't do this, don't do that, you know, you yeah. can't this way. I said, Well, this is a way you can be and this is the way that you can change the world and this is the way that we can all work together. And I think that was a key part of how it worked because the feedback is, is showing me that it, it really did and that's yeah. really cool. But um, you know, it Sierra, when you talk about you know, reaching that status of, of someone that they can entrust and they can look up to. Even in some of the assemblies when I sang my song Butterfly, which was always the finale, mm -hmm. it was so funny. Some of the kids, I remember some of the schools, um, the way my assembly was set up, I had a middle aisle. Usually the kids would sit on the floor. It would be in like a cafeteria or a gym mm -hmm or um, an auditorium or something. So if they were in the cafeteria, you know, they'd be sitting on the floor and there'd be a center aisle. Well, I always like to go around and I like to get every part. I like to get everybody. I like to involve everybody. So that means walking around the sides, walking down the center and, and, and waving at people. And when I would sing my song Butterfly sometimes, these kids would, would reach out, you know, and, 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 and try to touch me. And Sometimes it would get to the point where I couldn't even walk through, where it was just, and I got stuck in the middle, and I'd have to finish my song there. But it was um, just, you know, kids are kids, and I just love being able to be there with them and to be a role model. I'm 16 years old. I mean, yeah. this is, yeah. it's really, really cool. And it's, I'm very humbled to say that I know that some of these kids look up to me and, and I just want to be here to be there for them and to provide inspiration for them just be me. And I, I think that's great and that might even be part of what is so special about your case is that you are still 16 and you could still be, um, well anyone could be still a victim of bullying at any age but your mm -hmm. age is, you know, um, like kids feel that they can trust you because you're kind of still, you know, you're still on that somewhat level with them, <laughs> although, you know, you may be totally. a little more mature, you've already gone through your, your chunk of bullying, but, um, that's really great, and I really, I really enjoyed interviewing you, I think that you're definitely a very unique person, in that you just are this young professional, age 16, <laughs> already impacting, you know, hundreds of thousands of kids around the world and not many people can say that they did that in such a positive way. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks oh, so well, much so sweet. for letting us Thank interview you. Thanks Sierra so much. Thanks and we'll look forward to maybe hearing from you soon and seeing what's next coming up from you. For sure. <laughs> Thanks.